Another new file on the preloaded USB is the Scandic overhang test and it takes about five hours. So I decided to run it with the dual color overture. This one is blue and green. And it is pretty cool to see it just kind of building into space at that angle. I ran it with the door open so that I could get the time lapse. And although it printed okay, because it's this silk, I mean, it does look really pretty, but then when you start looking a little closer at these overhangs, they just kind of look a little not perfectly smooth. I don't know if there's a little bit of sagging from it printing in space, and the top has kind of some zits, which I know sometimes silk does have that, but I was just expecting this print to be a little bit smoother overall. So I decided to run it again with the door closed on this one. I ran the same filament. It was the exact same preloaded file from the USB and the top looks about the same, not great. At first I thought it looked pretty much the same. This one is on the left is the newer one with the door closed and the one on the right is the one I ran first with the door open. I mean overall on the top it looks similar. I feel like it looks worse with the door closed, the one on the left for the top. But then surprisingly underneath, I really was expecting the door closed to be better, but the one on the left with the door closed looks worse. Look at that on the left, just kind of, I don't know how to even explain it. It just didn't print very good. And I know silk is hard, but that's the point of the test, isn't it? Next, I'm gonna try one of my own miniature designs.